Nazi code. When I was I went to a school when at the age of seven, the piano teacher said I couldn't play the piano because I had short hands, and my mom wanted to wanted me to study something else. She wanted me to do math or science, and I said no, mom, I want I want to become a pianist. So that was one of my biggest challenges, just to prove people I could actually play the piano. Many years after I finished studies at the High Institute of Arts in Cuba. There I had a really good piano teachers and people who helped me throughout my career. After my studies and along with my studies at the university, I did many performances uh, as a soloist, uh, with all musicians, chamber music, as a repetitor at the National uh, Opera and also uh, as a composer. I was really lucky because my, I had the chance to get training from one of the, the best piano teachers. Her name is Olga Valiente. Olga went to the Moscow Conservatoire to uh, get training from uh, really good uh, piano teachers at, at, in Russia. At that time it was the Soviet Union. And then when she returned to Cuba, she was teaching many students, including me. So I had over 15 years training with her. And the, the mainly the, the basics of my technique is, is a Russian technique, which I think is one of the best in, in the world. I've always liked the music between the 16th and the 18th century. It's one of a, it's one of my favorite styles. Then I wanted to discover and learn a little bit more about this music and the composers who wrote music for the keyboard. I went to Guildhall to do a harpsichord course and specialise in early music. There I met my, I met my harpsichord teacher Nicholas Powell who has been a great inspiration in my career and actually changed my point of view of playing early music, especially baroque music. When I play the piano, I'm always trying to transmit an idea, a feeling and a passion through sound because it's not only just sitting at the instrument and, and playing keys and banging on the piano, it's just thinking, how should I say this phrase, how should I say this other one, how should I get this link between me, my feelings and the audience and people out there listening. I also think the piano as, as, a, as a big orchestra, so I try to, to experience and discover different colors and sonorities of different instruments. And for example, in a, in a Mozart sonata with this phrase, who do you think this phrase should be played? It should, it should be played by a flute or an, an oboe and the bass line, the violoncello or the bass and just trying to be more creative, that's it, the whole idea. I have done a, an album called Alta Gracia, it's for, uh, with music from Cuba, classical music from Cuba. It's a selection of uh, different composers from the 19th century and the 20th century and modern composers. Uh, it's all for piano and also includes two compositions by Argentinian composers. One of them is Astor Piazzolla and the other one is a Sonata by Carlos Guastavino. The recent project I finished was my book, uh, Light and Jassy. This is a compilation of 15 piano pieces between grades 2 and 4. This is all my composition and uh, the pieces are very fresh and, and they've got beautiful melodies and they have a little bit of Cuban background with a classical background, jazz background and, and a little bit of a early music background. So it's all mixed together and, and just trying to create something different and unique. I'm really passionate about teaching and I enjoy teaching my students and I always welcome new people and, and especially if, if, they have, if they share the same passion as me. So if you are one of these persons and you really want to learn and you are uh, driven by the instruments and you want to perform, please just come and, and contact me and we are more than happy to help you.